Hello everyone, and welcome to Tabletop Obscura Presents Hoist the Colors! Arr. Well, we got one Yarg. That's that's an improvement on last week. I don't even know what happened last week. I think you got two Yars last week, Matt. I watched the VOD. You watched the VOD? The, the first hour and a half of it, I think, actually. I don't think I watched the full thing. And by uh, don't think, I mean I know. <laughs> I didn't watch That's the That's where it really started picking up, though. <laughs> Look, he says that, but it's not untrue. Well... Man, I don't know. Yeah, look. Listen, I'm an I'm an enjoyer of slow burn um uh actual play podcasts. We've been over this. My favorite part of Critical Role are the shopping episodes. <laughs> so Wow. See, and that kind of stuff makes me want to have like more fully fresh fleshed out markets and stuff like that. And it's something I am working on, but Ugh. I need more people. I need more. <laughs> I just need more. More things, more stuff. I guess. Something like that. <laughs> but, how has everyone's week been? Humid. Humid? No. I did um, two exams. So, you know, midterms. Woo! Yay! Woo! I'm so glad I don't have to do exams anymore. It is. Or do you? Dun dun dun. Matt, we're here to examinate you. Uh, wait. I might, if I actually do go for the venture captain thing, I might have to do like an exam thing. But I think it's more of like an informal interview. Venture captain? Yeah. Um, Matt g is gonna get isekai to the, um, to no! Gorian, and then, uh,. No, look, then... look, PFS does actually Become have... Become a venture captain. ...does have a ranking system, and it's it's pretty much just goes your player in PFS to your, like, an assistant venture captain to being a full venture captain. And Do I wouldn't mind... we have to start calling you Captain Matt? <laughs> assistant venture captain Matt. Oh my god. <laughs> Just put so it on my resume. Then. I guess. Just Ass put it man, on cap Matt. God. <laughs> uh, just put it on all my like business cards and stuff like that, because you know I absolutely have business cards. Next up, Matt portraying American Psycho. John Paizo is testing your capability to get good. Yeah, well. <laughs> Esquire the third, yeah right. <laughs> Honestly, it's not even hard to get good in Pathfinder. You just sort of make the numbers look vaguely correct. Well, you just say that's what my character would do, and you just kind of skate by on that. No, no, yeah, that's, and that's you skate five by on you skate by on nat twenties in a dream. Um, whenever you do anything bullshit, the dice will bend in your favor to um be incredibly silly it's, god i hope so <laughs> it's always hilarious when i have um the guy who usually gms for me for pfs uh he's been having to stay late at work so i've been gming for him at pfs uh, and it's always really funny to just for me to say something or do something in game and just to see his eyebrow raise at the whole thing to his credit he never says anything about it <laughs> he very much has the whole thing of you're the GM at this table, it's your call to make. And it, But it's always just hilarious to see him go, wait, what? You're doing what? Okay, that's fine. Because, no, if a player has gone through the effort to climb up to the second floor balcony so that they can kind of swing down in on a rope, they should be allowed to do that. Um... It's not my fault they roll a natural one when they try. If okay, you land so... on another creature, you deal half the fall damage you take in damage. Fun fact. Uh, they succeeded on the attack roll, but they failed on the athletics to 
uh, athletics or the acrobatics to stay, stay upright or to land properly. So they crashed through a table and took damage from that. Amazing. Fun. Lame. It was funny. They stood up amongst the remains of a table and beat the guy to death with a table like it was great. Are they an improvised weapon fighter? Ah, uh, no. They fell prone and lost a grip on their weapon, so they were like, okay, table leg. <laughs> Takes the exact same amount of actions to pick up your normal weapon as the table leg. <laughs> but it was fun. And that oh, was that the is, important thing. It's I, fun. Listen, I love building characters for fun. And look, I gave them a hero point for it because it was a great bit of role playing. You know, reaching for your sword and finding the chair leg instead, so you smack him with the chair leg. It's great! Matt never gives us hero points. It's I so, know, it's so ridiculous. Rude. Well, that's because if chat accumulates a thousand channel points, they can give hero points to they can give hero points to you. So I don't Matt, have to. Chat's just a hallucination. Who are you talking to? <laughs> well, the hallucination helps me be a better GM, okay? It just gets super weird when I'm playing a game like at an actual table and I start talking to chat. <laughs> I can only imagine you just pull up your phone and then just type into the offline chat Hey chat, wanna see me kill a player character? <laughs> um, I really enjoy that um, not getting hit when someone is trying to fall on you is in fact just a flat save, like it never increases due to the level of the person trying to fall on you, it's always DC 15. Yeah, and look, there are some checks where they're always flat like that, and I'm just like... I know what they're going for, but I'm also going to completely ignore it. I feel like it should be off, like, the acrobatics DC of the creature trying to land on you. Or DC 15, whichever is higher. Or you're essentially doing a tumble through, so it'll be against their reflex DC. I mean, some might argue. <laughs> some might argue that what you really should do is just have your bird drop you, and then you should attack somebody, and then you should have your bird catch you again. Oh, are we talking about your Hulk Rider archetype? I love my Hawk Rider archetype. It's perfect. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to build a Wyvern Rider archetype. It's perfectly balanced. In um, every it's, way. It's, I haven't actually looked at it yet. It's level. It's a level ten permanent uh, mounted flight uh, archetype. <laughs> Can't imagine what would be unbalanced about it. Can't imagine whatsoever. But that's a... why I put the rare tag on it. Yeah. Look. As I mentioned to a couple of people who I was discussing it with in private, I was like, it has the rare trait on it, so any GM can be like, no, that much amount of flying would break this campaign, and they can just say no to it. You were talking about my stuff behind my back, Matt? I absolutely was. I'm, I'm a little bit honored. <laughs> I'm a little bit honored that my silly little uh, archetype gained um, behind my back talking status. Oh, we talk about you constantly behind your back. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, definitely. Only nice things, though. Never terrible things. What were you things. saying again last time? I don't remember. Um, some... Hotel I was talking about <laughs> behind the back too. <laughs> no, I was uh, segueing into um I keep wanting to say like back alley talking points, but no. Like back of house type stuff. Jules is not gonna no be here tonight. Here. No back alley doctors here. Not this campaign, that was his abomination vaults. Uh oh. Jules is not gonna be here tonight. Uh she has a musical that she is doing very important stuff with. She actually told us what she's doing with it. <coughs> to my discredit. Is she not? Is she not opening? Is that not what tonight is? Yeah, it's opening night for the musical, and I'm pretty sure she's in the part of the orchestra. Yeah, I think so. That yeah. does seem to be her general vibe. Yeah, so she won't be here tonight. But we all wish her luck. Um, I believe the term is break a leg. Yes, that is the proper. Yeah. You're actually not supposed to wish luck at all and just say break a leg. 
Well, it's a good thing that we have not wish your luck then. <laughs> I yeah. wish your luck. <laughs> <laughs> we don't wish you luck, but here's a fortune effect. Next thing we know, we get a message from Jules being like, So I broke my leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that'd be impressive to do in an orchestra pit, I feel. I don't know, if someone drops a trombone. Yeah. <laughs> and you have really weak bones, I guess. What? <laughs> trombones are like news. wide as anything. I've been stabbed in the foot by someone's cello spike. That's, that's not a broken leg, though. That's your foot stabbed through. Well, How's the hand? Still a bit stiff. <laughs> yes, yes, I won't be joking about broken limbs. Mm -hmm. That's me done. But, uh, otherwise, uh, good news. We are writing our session... I don't want to say session zero, session 0 0.5. I'm doing the beginner box for Gatewalkers tomorrow night. Yay. Uh, yeah. This will not be streamed. Yay. Uh, but it's being specifically requested by players that they want to run through the beginner's box so they can get used to the system and foundry and everything else like that. They're all players that are already pretty familiar with it, but they want to make sure that the characters are flowing right. Which, honestly, uh, that's completely fair. I am still probably going to record it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to end up putting it online anywhere or not. Or if we might just, you know, use it for later. I don't know. Something like that. But Special Patreon content. Uh, if my Patreon was actually open. Even more special Patreon content. Right? Um... No, there is not a beginner's box for Gatewalker. I'm just going to be using the, uh... Menace under Atari. And my players will be privy to how I am changing it to fit the whole Gatewalker's aesthetic. I already have some um, and ideas. They're walking me. through a gate into a basement under Otari, as opposed to the normal plot hook. Julie, <laughs> weird. I just, how dare I you just... steal my plot points? Have you been looking in my Google Drive? <laughs> No. Clearly, Matt, you didn't watermark it. Um, Matt OC content. <laughs> Do, Do not, not steal. <laughs> oh, it's weird. I just got a message from Matt about the changes, and it just says I'm not. <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting bullied by my players already. And this is gonna be great. Otherwise, Bullied. um, if you want to support the channel, you can always follow, like, subscribe, all that other fun stuff, especially if you're on YouTube. It really helps out with the algorithm, all that other things. Otherwise, if you want to specifically help out the channel, like, I have a throne where I have various things up there, including... Give Matt money! Including, um... The P I'll be putting the Foundry modules for all the future games that I'm going to be running up on there. And I also currently have a goal going for the latest season of PFS on the Foundry, because I kind of want to reduce some, like, one-shots as well for people. Uh, and the other one, I'm uh, probably going to be putting Rust Henge up there soon. And I think that's about it. I got over stuff because eventually I want to get a better VTuber because I love D10 to, to bits, but I feel like it needs to move around a little bit more. You know, creep people out even more. It'll be great. Like in some sort of dice cage. <laughs> Whenever Whatever you talk, he just rolls around. Whenever I kill an animal companion, just put D10 into dice jail. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would be even more gleeful when you crit my rats. <laughs> no, look, that would be like a um channel reward a channel point redeem thing, wouldn't it? Just put Dita into dice jail for a little bit. But let us switch over. Man, Nick, where did all your channel points go? Yeah, Nick, where'd they all go? Uh -huh. I well, still got them. While I hydrate and I give an extra hero point to Sola. That was the thing that happened earlier. Who yep. remembers what happened last week? Nope. Um, so I wasn't there, but I watched the VOD and um basically they finished helping out the wizard. Um and then they were like to find out how to release the blue orb 
you've got to go to the deep trench where the evil people live. And, and found Mount Pyre. Um, so then we sailed to the, to here in, um, the log town, Pacifalog town. Um, <laughs> and we, uh, are ready to journey into the deep ocean. Look, if people want me to run a, a Pokemon style campaign, I just need Eldemon to be ready. Look, uh... soon as the role for combat has finished out their Eldemon stuff and it's up in the modules and things like that, I'll do a Pokemon campaign. Listen, we just like, we just like riffing on you that, um... <laughs> You you named uh you named your creature o um Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And then I you take us immediately to Pacifolog Town. It's called Coral you, Thunder. You kinda you kind of, you kind of spun that one on yourself. Look, I had no um, idea. I just think it's hilarious in hindsight. I yeah, was like, so I need an ominous I, name, Oris. I assume we're um here to like gear up before we jump into the black abyss well um you did to know why we need to gear up i'm ready you did meet fisheye joe oh a new person <laughs> is he cool no <laughs> can we see a picture of fisheye joe no i i made explained to him <laughs> He, he did not seem particularly happy about it. Uh, Fisheye Joe is a gentleman in the loosest possible terms. He is human for the most part. Uh, one eye is in fact a large and bulbous fisheye. And half of his teeth have been replaced, replaced with like the whale bristles. Otherwise, he seems pretty comfortable on like the water uh he is not associated with the sunken coven in any way whatsoever are you sure <laughs> just because like having the one eye be different than the other eye is in fact a um sign of being a changeling how mean how rude it's a sign <laughs> <laughs> Matt is banned from HP Lovecraft works from now on. Look, I haven't read HP Lovecraft in so damn long. I looked up his cat and I was just like, hmm, how about we don't? But his prose is very interesting. It that's, is. That's 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 what yeah. I'll say about his work. Um, I feel I like... enjoy his prose. Um, I don't enjoy any of the other aspects particularly. No. And but it is. Just beautiful prose. Ah, uh, look, the Night God's poem is still Weird. one of my favorite poems of all time. Uh, it is dark. It is kind of also joyful at the same point. It's, I enjoy it. But, um, he has offered to guide all of you to the Breathless Trench. Can I recall knowledge on Fisheye Joe? Oh um, wow, we've got double gear appointed. Yeah, no, you're all you're all stocked up. But Cinco, oh, are we all at three? Um so. If you wanna give me a sailing lore check? Sailing lore, sure. Sure littoral lore wouldn't apply. Um, uh no, Am I healed he, up. He is an open water type of guy, and yes, you would be healed I'm up. hunting him as my prey, by the way, Matt. Just so you know. <laughs> Um, do I want to prepare my stuff? Oh, whilst we're here. Um, f uh, money stuff. Uh, well, you're doing the money stuff. Sunshine. And yeah, yes. You have actually heard rumors of Fisheye Joe. Uh, he is something of a doomsayer or doomsday prophet. Uh, he he considers himself a equal opportunity doomsday prophet, as in he refuses to associate with any of the more uh, openly apocalypse cults. So, for instance, he doesn't associate with the sunken coven. So, 
so does he want the end of the world to come about or is he just always saying that it's gonna come about pretty much it's always gonna he's just saying that it's always gonna kind of come about but it's, has he ever been right before just checking What's well his track record on that one he does point to events that have happened in the past <laughs> saying you know it happened here it could happen again and eventually family friendly doomsday god uh... but he tends to just you know be one with himself and he is very much kind of he is obsessed with the depths of the ocean and he is considered what is called a deep caller which is a type of spellcaster who can uh, invoke the void both of the water and of the sky above to do strange Why is he so effects. obsessed with my house? That's kind of weird. Your house? My you house. Know. That being the know. ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ocean is my house. He just has a personal philosophy that the more you look in look into the void the more you see within yourself the more the void looks back into you kind of yeah but all right he does he getting confused with mirrors <laughs> <laughs> no he doesn't like to look into mirrors too much well why is he the water is basically a mirror matt depending on the day depending on the day i guess i mean Captain Archie summons a creature that runs off of that philosophy, if I remember right. Yeah. Which oh, creature? Yeah. The watery mirror dude. Oh, uh, Leta Le 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 Luca, whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. Luska. Leta Luska. Uh, but no, he, that's pretty much his whole thing. And people would kind of dismiss him as, you know, just another crazy person. But he seems to legitimately draw powers from the deeps of the ocean but or he's drawing powers from just manifesting that the deep of the ocean is giving him powers such the questions power of belief is a, pr a powerful thing <laughs> i hear such questions would require a full interview with him um but unfortunately he has a tendency to make people uncomfortable it doesn't make sunshine uncomfortable Oh, probably not. Sunshine does not have a stomach with which to feel discomfort. <laughs> but no, even as you're kind of recalling this information, he kind of looks in your direction. Just kind of gives you a Can I help wave. you? Oh, I don't know. Can I help you? I mean, I asked you first. <laughs> Well, I might be helping you, your, you and yours out to the Breathless Trench, so, uh... Or when you say Breathless, um... Like, does just nobody breathe there? I mean, like, even underwater, you still gotta, like, exchange... ...gases with the water. Do they just, like, not... Have they all figured out how to not breathe down there? Or is it, like sort of metaphorical compared to the air breathers out here. Well, you see, there's something about the currents that run within the trench itself. It causes um, fish don't go down there, you see, because even they can't breathe within the currents there. But there are certain, if you know your way around, you can kind of get around them and get to the depths of it. It's a cursed place. Like all sorts of evil things lurk down there but it's also one of the deepest areas around here um matt yep would you want nature to unide to identify what sort of natural phenomenon would uh cause a current where a fish couldn't breathe i uh, give me yeah nature would work if you're would navigation lore work better Navigation would give you different information. Okay. Well, I want to know about the natural phenomena, and I'm assuming I can't hunt prey the the currents. No. It, Unfortunately. It is a hazard. Unfortunately, 
Oh, listen, I'm not very good at nature, so... Yeah, look. It could be any number of things. Uh, okay. None immediately come to mind. It could just be a case of the currents are running too fast there, but that would seem odd for a trench. Uh, Might be like some sort of brine. Possibly. Um, like, the water issue. just might be too toxic down there. Cool. Does it, does it seem like it would inhibit my breathing? That's really what I'm concerned about. You can say you don't know. Oh, no, that's absolutely what you're getting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. All right. All that said, if we are going to go and I am to be your guide, so I'm not sure if we have actually come to an accord on that. He says to you, Captain Archie. Um, I feel it best if we leave in the morning. There's something of an ill wind blowing. He kind of yeah. gazes or up How's the, the wind going to affect us if we're underwater? Well, you won't be underwater the entire day. It's an eight-day journey. First six of those, safest to go above water. And then once we're kind of almost above the entrance to it, that's when we'll go underwater. Um, now Matt, I don't know a ton about Mosh's character build, but I do know Mosh can do one thing, and that's predict weather. Yep. Um, what's <laughs> what's this about a foul wind? Please and thank you. Also, can you give me ownership of Mosh? <laughs> give you ownership. Um, I believe... I know you can't roll it quite yet. But I believe it's a nature check? Nature of survival uh, to do the Weber check? You should have ownership now. Should be that. Let's see. Survival. Survival? Well, Seems. Give me that survival check. Um. Would you say that, um. You have a commanding view? I have view. a commanding view. I would say yes. Does that give me a bo- I don't actually know. I know that's why we ask. Uh, but... The DC is reduced. Oh, okay. Amazing. And I just roll that. What's the weather like, Matt? Well, that is a success. Um, There is something of a strong wind blowing. You're not sure... Well, Mosh isn't quite sure what it means by an ill wind. Um, by his general demeanor, though, this might just be kind of a uh, an occult thing. Oh, like he's just predicting the end times, but for our boat ride. Well, it's that's like his whole thing. It's more along the lines of he's getting like bad vibes for setting off now. Wild. And you know, okay. he wants the journey to go off on the right foot. Okay. Mosh licks his eyeball. <laughs> Just specifically. Um, yep. If anyone else wants to do a perception check on Fisheye Joe, they can. I Let's trust you Fish a Eye Joe. What was that, Archie? What spell gives you a swim speed? Feet to fins? Feet to fins, probably? Um, I think mon monkey fish does as well. But monkey fish is also just a weird spell in general that exists. Uh, not on the arcane list. Feet defends level three. Not no the monkey thing. Oh uh, okay. I was just saying if you wanna. A um. Arcane primal feet defends level three. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. And it's a morph too? Ugh. Can we get three or um two uh sixth level feet to fin wands, Matt? Could that have been in the, the pile of loot that the wizards gave us? Well, they did offer to sell things to you if you had the money for it. Well, those are sixth level wands, Matt. We don't have money for that. I'm looking for. Well, we can't cast it. 
No. I was looking for something that does environmental adaption, but I believe that's a class thing, not a spell thing. But you also have a ship that can go underwater vaguely. Vaguely. Not very yeah, long. Not for, for a few rounds. <laughs> but yeah. Um, is it, is it maybe because we're near the Breathless Trench, she's more powerful and can take us underwater for more time? Uh, do you bring this up with Fisheye Joe? No, because no. I don't know about blue. All right. Well, Solar, with your perception check. Hello. Uh, you do get the feeling that he has something of a alternative motive. Mm-hmm to helping guide you like he seems to be on the level that he will he will absolutely guide you through this whole thing okay but his motivations for doing so may be less than savory i'm shocked shocked i tell you <laughs> well not that shocked just a little bit shocked hmm you can tell me it's fine i won't hold it against you so I'm not shocked at all, no. <laughs> There's something fishy about this man. Otherwise, um, staying the evening. Now, this place has kind of a communal living place. but I'm sleeping in a bucket, Matt. I was about to say, most people <laughs> just sleep on their ships. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of... I should actually pull the Melody's Wake. I'm lowering a bucket. I'm filling a bucket with salt water with my endless flask. And then I'm lowering said bucket overboard into the ocean. And that uh, with me in it. Hope this helps, Matt. Um, I will get people to place themselves on said ship. I am overboard uh do we have a below deck you do have a below deck all right i'll do this scroll thing at a later I don't, date i guess i don't know where mosh sleeps mm. how does one Probably in a hammock below deck how does one do what how does one reveal below deck? Um, I do actually have the the token for that, but I'm not gonna go for the effort of pulling it up now. Okay, fair enough. I would be wherever. What time is it? Night time. It will be getting towards night time. Yeah, wherever night time activity occurs, such as sleeping. All right. Well. First things first. As things will begin to go tonight. Oh, that's right. Archie has his own source of light. No, I, I turned <laughs> I turned the ship into a <laughs> as a torch. Well, we can easily remove that. No! I mean, Archie also has the light spell going. Yes. Boop. See, that's a little bit more atmospheric. Hi, now, oh, bye. I will get a perception check from everyone. Perception check from everyone? I yeah. think technically oh, no. I automatically fail this because I'm unconscious, but go off. I'll give it to you. I said what I said. And need one from Mosh a as well. A person's a person. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't need 100%. one from Mosh, you know. Mosh can just fail. <laughs> or they could roll that. That also works. Is it a nat 20? Natural 20. Not a natural 20, but it was pretty high. Uh, fun, 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 fun. Uh, Mosh will be the first to kind of wake up, exclaiming that something is wrong. 
or at least something feels off. Oh. I'm pointing to various shapes moving in the water. I don't think something's off. I think the water's fine. Those are just my friends. Are those just your friends? I mean, they're not Akata, so probably. Are they not Akata? Oh, that's no good. way they made fish Akata. Oop. Their whole thing is they don't like salt water. That would be weird. For now. Is that an octopus? I guess, I guess Matt's that. gonna have to zoom in and show us. Fucking guy's face. What? My Bane rune is gonna be putting in work against this guy, I bet. Wow. This guy speaks exactly like Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, like I said, um, Mosh is just kind of pointing to this octopus that's moving kind of quietly towards the ship. Uh, Mosh is going to awaken Sunshine so sun and point out the octopus to Sunshine so Sunshine can get a good look at it. A creature that we are familiar with? Can I recall knowledge on this creature, Matt? You can. And absolutely. I'm hunting it as my prey. I was waiting for it. Yeah. I would like Unless to greet a creature. Classic. Um, that would be Littoral War, right? Um, this guy? He's Littoral looking. I'm gonna say yes. Yes. I can't fail. Rolls in that one. That's what I deserve for saying <laughs> that. You didn't roll in that one. It's fine. I do have to pull up his sheet, though. That is a success. Awesome. What is he? What's his name? It Tim? Is... <laughs> you don't know his name. Uh, this is a water elemental known as a Quitoid. Are they hostile, particularly? Um... It depends on what they're doing. They don't normally exist on the material plane, though. They're very much native to the plane of water. Well, I'll let Sunshine, or um, I'll let Sola deal with the talking. I like anything that ends its name in Toid. You're a big fan of Plastoids, then? Yeah. But yeah, um, otherwise... Matt loves plastids. Do you have another question? I need 4,000 for Wukong. Um, <laughs> do you have any other questions? Um, he got any special attacks? Um, he has Calming Bioluminescence. Okay. Which is an aura that allows him to, um, kind of alter saves for emotion-based effects. Okay. Brad, I have agitating bioluminescence, but you don't see me bragging about it. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, can cast... just called eyes. Wow, that's true. Also, can cast a spell. Okay. Just one? What spell? Hydraulic push. At will. Okay. Okay. That seems oh. fair. Um, alright. That is all my questions. So, Solar, what do you say to it in Flasic? Um, that information wouldn't have made it to me, would it? Uh, not, in, I'll sh not in the time, I mean. I mean, probably. Okay. Um, I will, uh, in Thalassic, greet it as, uh, welcome to our ocean space elemental friend. Uh, does everyone here speak Vlasic? I, I do. I think so. It's a question of whether Mosh does? Uh, Mosh you is the only it... one who doesn't. Mosh does not, yeah. I but Mosh will just take cues off of everybody else, it's fine. Oh, absolutely. That's uh, what Mosh is built for. It responds back in Vlasic and goes, Well, this, this is a surprise. 
Um, sorry though, n not a friend. Uh, or I, I will are. say, I recommend against trying to fight us. Um, hey, do you want to run that past us again? People who have not, who have decided to 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 fight us, um, have in fact wound up probably oh, dead. Oh, a friend, so, two friends. So I really don't recommend doing what, you know, meeting me with violence. I don't think it's going to go well for you. <laughs> Historically, it hasn't. Oh, no, that's yes, fine. Yes. You know, however this fight goes down, please understand no hard feelings. Yes, I'm just doing what I, uh, I have been brought here to do. It is the uh, honorable thing to allow foes the knowledge of why you are attacking. Oh, I have been summoned here to attack you. By or whom? by whom? That I cannot say. Mostly because they did intru introduce themselves. Quite rude, if you ask me. <laughs> he kind of brings his tentacles up to kind of do the Queensberry rules thing. And he goes, so, I'm gonna are you ready to rumble? pull out my weapon? I'm gonna get ready to rumble, as it were. And uh, pull out my weapon. Um, I'm gonna pull out the tentacle cannon. Why I've not? Seen it's new. Enough hentai to know where this is going. And we'll roll them in. Wow, I've never hated being in a maid outfit more. <laughs> <laughs> You did this to yourself. I did. Oh, wow. Oh. Both of our living waterfalls got the same result. Mosh would uh, have his weapon out as well. Well, all that said, Mosh would have their weapon out. Uh, Archie, you would also be awake and ready for this fight. Yay. Uh, Mosh would be at full hit points, I assume. Yes. Okay. Let just throw that. Let's kind of move this on in. Jeez, Mosh has so much health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least he can become a friendly guy. Oh, no, look. Uh, while they're... While Juliet's getting Mosh's carriage sheet sorted, this is the first time I've seen the close-up picture of this creature. Uh, I kind of love it. <laughs> like, it's uh, absolutely a water elemental, so probably wouldn't exist on the material plane too much, but... As Chad has said, it's friend-shaped. But yes, what you doing? Oh, is it, it's Mosh's turn first. Okay, that's wonderful. That's great. Um... gonna ready a strike yep for if something enters my reach okay yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then yeah yeah that's what i'm gonna do now yep sunshine i have an important question yeah your bucket is it kind of bobbing in the water yep all right um, odds evens. Um, evens. I'm a big fan of even numbers. I like them. Oh, look at that. An even. As this creature, this living waterfall emerges from the water, a uh, vortex starts to appear below it, swirling the water around. Uh, while you're in its vortex aura, it is the water is considered difficult terrain, even if you do have a swim speed. Uh, your okay. bucket stays attached to the side of the vessel. Okay. Good. That bucket's very important to me. <laughs> very sentimental. It's a very sentimental bucket. That's I would have killed him with extreme prejudice and then hunted him down on the water plane and killed him again if he had destroyed my bucket. Oh, wow. Harsh. <laughs> Um, I mean, you're kind of at its perfect range, so it's just going to smack yeah. you around a lot. Yeah. Go for it, Matt. 
Wow, really? Whiff! Cool. A lot of whiff, Matt. That is certainly one way to put it. <laughs> oh, look at that, Matt. Another whiff. And we were gonna do it again. Yeah, no, okay, Could move cool. to, like, right there would be nice. Why would it get out of the water? I don't know. It's got it's a sort of speed. Crest over the bow of our ship, you know? Hmm. All right, Archie. Oh, they are not moving. He That's has so stepped annoying. away briefly. He has stepped away briefly. I mean, still going to attack him. Mm. Guys. With Matt. That's what we call that. Guys, come on. You, you don't need to roll. Mm hmm. I think well, they do, Matt. So, chat, if you want to give me villain points. This is funnier. Yeah, no, I, I get that. <laughs> really funny. Maybe I need comic dice. Maybe that's what needs to happen. I don't think you do, Matt. No? I think you just need to get good. I think this is a skill issue. I think more players need to have animal companions. That's what needs to happen. Oh, listen, my animal companions just aren't out yet. <laughs> Achi has stepped away for the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Sunshine first, and I'm going to reorder awesome. that. Cool, 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 Aww. cool, cool. Thank you for the villain point. I will make sure to use it for the friendship squid. Well, I've got Ooh. like a bunch of cool things I can do. Um. I am going to fire a spray of ink from my cannon. <laughs> um, two yep. interact actions. Yep. Um, and I... See, I'm just imagining do, Sunshine uh, kind of leaning out from the bucket with the tentacle cannon. Do a, do a 15-foot cone. There you go. Oh, nice. Hit both of them. Um, I would like you to make me a reflex save. I'll just throw that in chat for you. Thank it's you. The, the squid ink one. Yeah. Reflex <laughs> that. Oh, now I get successes. I see how it is. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a critical success for our friendship um, squid. Nothing. Nothing on a success, so that that's kind of kind of annoying. It um, hits a cone though, and uh, that's why I didn't say really annoying. Um, so then I'm going to, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot our friendship squid over here. Oh, um, because he's annoying <laughs> me. By the fact that he is attacking me. You don't do that? Well, your request has been answered. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sam, you back yet? It's my turn. <laughs> I'm going to assume no. Solar, what you doing? Okay. Um, how... How much of the ocean is currently affected by this this guy's whole deal? Um, if you were put to put a number on it, a thirty foot uh, just, radius. Okay, that's gonna be too much. Um, I would like to get onto the pier, please. Yep. So, like to there. Yeah. Because you can leap as a part of a stride action. As long as you're not trying to do a long jump or anything like that. Yep. So, I don't think I'll be able to make it there in less than three actions. But I want it made clear that... You know that thing some robots do where they keep their head trained on something perfectly but the rest of their body, uh, body moves? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that to him. Okay. Do 
that would be three actions if you move to there. Yep. But that's yep. all you're doing? That is all I'm doing. All right. Hey, Sam, are you back yet? If not, the Quartoid's gonna do its thing. I'll be Sam. You'll be Sam? Yeah. Arr, I cast me thingy and make <laughs> wash large. That's what Sam would do. Yeah, pretty much. That would break your bucket. Mosh. No, mosh. No, mosh, mosh isn't yeah. in the bucket. Mosh isn't in the bucket. It's fine. So yeah, enlarge a mosh or... Yeah. Listen, yeah. he's not here to dispute us. That is very true. Uh, we're going to target Mosh. And then we're going to cast the thing. Cool. No, not on the boat. Large. <laughs> Thank you. Big Maw. So we don't want it on the ship. That would be weird. <laughs> Big boat. And then what? Arcane shot? Probably. Beats too far for an intimidation, isn't it? Uh, needs to be yeah. within 30 feet for demoralize. Yeah, yeah, I thought as much. Then yeah, um, I shut off onto one of the elementals. The, um, non-squid elementals. We're all elementals here, it's fine. I'm not an elemental. I'm a different sort of nature spirit. I did actually look that up earlier today because I wanted to see whether you had the water trait or not. I don't. Have the plant trait. He hit a plus two. Wow. Okay. Takes the seven damage. All right. That's Archie done. Nice. The Quietoid. Um... He has a specific strategy in mind. So... It's gonna start with a hypnotic pattern. Please don't move. <laughs> Please don't move? Please don't move, I need him there. Well, if anything, come closer to me. Uh, he doesn't have to move, so he's not going to. He's gonna, He's gonna try to look like a girl cuttlefish so he can sneak past the bigger man cuttlefish. <laughs> Watch Blue Planet 2, guys. It goes hard. It's okay? pretty good, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's gonna cast Hydraulic Push <laughs> on Archie. I love how concerned Matt is. Um, he, he has With. a villain point, so we're gonna use that on him. Rude, I'm not Sam's even here, and you're trying to push no, me off my own ship. <sighs> yep. What? Sorry, I wasted you it. You deserve that. Point. I'm sorry, I wasted you it. You deserve that. Do I, though? Do I? Yes! I wasn't here, and you're trying to knock me off my boat. Yeah. What else was I supposed to do? He can cast that. Uh, just hit me? Yeah, but then I'd have to get closer. Why would I want to do that? Yeah, don't do that. What's he going to do with his last action? I mean... He's going to target you, Solar. Mm-hmm. And he's going to try to attack you with his tentacles. Don't. Thank you. Cool. Am I going to hit anything? No. Mosh. Okay, Mosh, um, waiting didn't work. So what Mosh is going to do is, um, jump at the wave. Um, how high am I up and how far am I falling? Uh, the boat sits about five to ten feet out of the water. It's not enough to deal damage via that suplexing it. Oh, okay. Well then, I, I won't be really cool and suplex it sorry jules i tried get the feet so what did i do um 
And then, uh, you made Mosh big, and then you arcane shotted. <laughs> That's mm. what we figured you would do. Um, and then... Gonna do a... Vicious swing. A vicious swing? Um, so... Big hit, big hit! Normal hit. Ugh. Um... This is the closest to a kaiju battle we're going to have for a while. Yeah. Possibly. Not those. You don't want Vicious a kaiju swing. battle? Of course it's touch. Um, Matt, you I'm said okay these guys were summoned, right? Yes. That's really mid damage. Does Especially for Moshi. Yeah. So if I cast spell immunity against summon elemental. Yeah. Or yeah, summon elemental, would that mean they can't deal damage? Or would it just dispel them essentially? Um, you ward a creature against the effects of a single spell. Ah, uh, they would be able to touch Damn. you. Ooh. Um, attempts to... Well, he touches them, um, and makes them immune to... Well, it's more... To themselves. Of an if the if... Does it just send them back to the elemental plane? Look, the way I would, um, rule it is they would attempt to... If they attempt to attack you while you have that active, um... If they hit you, you get the counteract check. If you are successful with the counteract check, it could potentially dispel them. Okay. Ooh. Seems a bit convoluted. <laughs> a little bit, yes. But this spell immunity was designed for things like fireball. Actual spells. And <laughs> oh, by the way, that is Mosh's whole turn. Sploosh splash into the water. Yeah. How deep is the water splash, here? He taking a bath. Um, doesn't well, really matter. Mosh can swim, but... Well, speaking of, does Mosh have a swim speed? Yeah. Does? Alright, so it's just... 25 a... feet. You don't Faster have to do... sunshine, fun fact. You don't have to do che checks to tread water, but it is difficult terrain. Okay. Um, it's first action, however. I have to check a thing. That is fine. It is going to do a five foot step back. L. Lame. Lame-o. Because it has a reach attack. Okay. Why is it stepping back for that? Doesn't want to be in reach of Mosh. It is not aware that a lodge increases the range, <laughs> the threat range on their melee attacks. You, hey, you're, you're phrasing it as if it didn't think of that. You just forgot. Oh, no, I do know. I try to think as the creature, act as the creature would act, and I have the notes written down for how they behave in battle. Remember, I, on, I'm... Chad, I'll keep them honest. <laughs> I am writing this to be published one day, so... You'll be an honest maiden yet. Oh, wait, how did oh, that go again? Oh, God. Thanks, clumsy. It. Modifiers matter, guys. Yeah. Juliet, um, not Juliet, Jules. Why do you guys have the same similar sounding names? It's rude. Right? Oh, Jules listen. loves being crit. Um, so... Gonna... Blood for blood? Um, it's cold? Well, first, to the damage, I'm going to free action enter my adrenaline flow uh focus um so there's that and then um then can i blood for blood that you did just get hit it's not a re adrenaline okay. flow is a free action it's not a okay action I'm just uh double yeah, well, can I not can I do two things off one trigger? You can't. Separate you triggers. Can't. Um But your trigger is late for blood for blood. Um 
Okay. Yeah, then I'll just I'll just wait because I want to be in flow hey, before I start blood for blooding. He might hit you again anyway. Hmm. Might do. Um. Possible. So that is his first attack, and he's gonna swing again. That's fine. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm okay take that, that damage actually because I forgot to do that. Press the fun little button. All oh, right, that's him done. The second living waterfall. It's just gonna decide to stop falling. Uh, it's gonna attack Archie again. We're gonna try to. Rude. Oh, dear God. Please. Please. I just need a 10. That's all I need. Mm. Oh, look at that. You didn't get it. I believe. Um, wait, hang on. That was a nine. Too close to the sun. <laughs> wait, what? Ah! What? What happened? That I, was a nine, wasn't it? I rolled a natural twenty on that last one. Did my eyes not working there, or has he re-rolled that? It was a miss, miss, critical hit. Three okay, attacks. My eyes weren't working on that. Um, unfortunately... I thought that was a 9 that you rolled. That will be a critical hit. This thing is trying to grab you from the deck to pull you over, and you're just kind of dodging side to side, as finally it manages in frust pure frustration to smash down upon you. Rude. Doing 28 points of damage. And it can't do its thing because it's out of actions. Sunshine. Um. I'm gonna grab the living waterfall with my tentacle cannon. <laughs> so. Yep. I attempt to grapple a creature. It's a 27 to grapple. The tentacle boy? Yep. I just have to check against its stuff. That will be a success. Awesome, it's pulled closer to me, please. Um. <laughs> As you have now grappled it and pulled it directly towards you? Yeah, yeah. I really wasn't thinking this far ahead. <laughs> it's grabbed. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to put the thing on it. Okay. Um. gonna shoot it <laughs> wait no i already shot i'm gonna turn the barrel one god i hate playing a gunslinger Does zero it have out reload? of ten uh it's capacity it's oh okay capacity. so i click it over one but that still takes an action but you don't have to use yeah. an extra hand to do it so it's so much more powerful isn't it no because i'm already holding it in two hands Sola! So, a while ago now, back when we went to a governor's party, I think it was? Yes. Yeah. Sola bought a sack for sunshine? Yeah. You know, actually. <laughs> yeah, he, he bought Sola's a pebble. Take out the sack. <laughs> and she's gonna leap at the squidly boy. Okay. He's gonna sack him. <laughs> um. Look, I'm gonna need an athletics check. You got I'm it, pal. To kidnap a squid. This yeah. this will be a grapple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank goodness we all have athletics. It's almost athletics. like it was highly recommended in the oh, player's no. guide. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Is that a success? Oh no. It's gotta be. <laughs> that is a success. Neat. Alright. Like, drag you to there? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have it grabbed. It's in the bag. It's not completely in the bag yet. 
No, oh, it's mostly in the bag. I was just like shoving it down. On your next turn, uh, you will have to do the checks to pro to actually restrain it and put it into the sack. Radical. As you kind of put the sack over the top of its head, it's like, you're not going to eat me, are you? <laughs> no. You can rest assured you will not be eaten. I don't trust that hesitation. I am a robot. We do not eat. Archie! I was I was waiting for the by me. <laughs> you will not be eaten by me. That's what I was waiting for. Well, there. worse, he's a summoned creature, so once he's done, like once he's dead, he's gone. No, but hear me out, I want to keep him. He's mine now. <laughs> Planer <laughs> binding him. Hmm. To the sack. <laughs> Have we already recalled knowledge on the big waterfall, guys? Uh, you um, have I not. think in another fight, maybe, I have. But not this fight, no. Hmm. You're considering it, aren't you? If it helps... Considering what? If it helps, they're pretty basic. They're watery? And I bet they've got a grab. Something akin to a grab. Ice store. Oh, confusion. This is what I'm really tossing up at the moment, is uh, how aggressive do I want to be against this guy? Well, they have been summoned. You kind of have car blanche to do whatever you want to them. <laughs> Though I do have to check something for the purposes of confusion. All right, and I have checked the thing. What you doing, Archie? Oh wait, I can create two clouds. Never mind. <laughs> casting ice, I'm casting ice storm. <laughs> this is way easy. I forgot about that. We're outside. 120 foot area. They'll both be in range. Two 20 foot bursts. Oh right, that's a 20 foot burst. That's you can huge. probably do a 20 foot burst yeah. so it like just catches him just, in the uh, corner there we go. and Let me doesn't just... hit everyone. <laughs> oh, d doesn't hit everyone? Oh, okay. Uh, I think that works. That, yes, hits that just hits him. Oh, wait, no, no it, it doesn't. doesn't. It just cuts off Marsh. Uh, these, this, this walkway on the other hand, that's, that's not so lucky. Well, it's a slip hazard. Oh, have you already got that there one done? We'll yeah, that's fine. Get the other guy. I All will right. not do the copy plaster. Get him! And I have to do reflex saves? What if they're, like, resistant to cold? This will be real awkward for me. And we'll I really should have done that recall tonight. knowledge check. Um, I'm going to try something. And this is where Matt says, ah, yes, ah, they are also work. immune to bludgeoning. And then, then we pretend like it has concussive. We have a success and a failure. And the success takes. Success takes half. And that one oh. takes the full damage. Just double checking. Yep, that's all good. I roll. Oh, seven and two and an eight and one. I'm like, how do I get nine on both of these? Any creature that ends a turn in the storm takes two cold damage. Oof. All right. All right. So what does this look like? This is the first time you're casting it, Archie. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? It's kind of what you expect from it yeah. as, as stated in the spell it's sort of the the clouds sort of intensify and it does get a bit chillier uh and then some hail starts falling and then it starts getting heavier and bigger and then now you realize oh shit i should have parked my car inside the garage today <laughs> and 
then you are in the ice storm and it hurts. Imagine having a garage. I believe you have one action remaining. You do. Yeah, okay, sure. I'll take an extra action. Thanks, Matt. I'll, I'll do that recall knowledge then. What'd you do? For oh, no, ice storm is three actions. Never mind. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, the first thing the Quartoid is going to do is a, is an escape. No. Ugh. No fun, Matt. Do not resist. No, because I know how this goes with Nick. <laughs> you are being rescued. Please don't resist. That is against your athletics, DC. Oh, yeah, no, that's gonna. Yeah. That That's out? Yeah, that's out. Your DC's 20. He is no longer grabbed. It's no longer grabbed for now. I am <laughs> checking its reach. Oh, there are really no good options for it right now. It doesn't want to move closer to sunshine. <laughs> uh, there is safety in the bag. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. No, it, it's going to move to there and then it's going to attack you, Sola. Not a wise choice. <laughs> it's more panic swiping at you as it reaches out with its tentacles. You get the feeling it's more aiming for to rip apart the sack than anything else. Mm. That's it done, however. <laughs> Mosh. Okay, Mosh is going to vicious swing again. Vicious on, uh, swing? On this guy. Oh, so, vicious swing is so satisfying when it works. Gonna do that, and then... It's gonna a hit. hit. Gonna deal some damage. Gonna do that. Are you sure you're swinging with the right anchor? Uh... Yes. Oh, alright. I'm just... I'm not... I'm just in my flow. I'm not in my surge, I don't think. All right. Well, that will be a hit. A vicious swing hit, if you will. Okay. Hey, I don't know how Thanatols work in the slightest, so you, you're probably doing better than Ooh. I would. Um... You have one action remaining as you bring one the anchor down. One action remaining? I'm just gonna try again, I think. Um, so just, uh, that, actually that's a map too. Um, I am going to prepare to aid Sunshine's <laughs> grapple with the gun to okay. maintain the grapple. Okay. Yeah gonna use athletics for that when it comes up to just sort of bully the water into being grabbed by the tentacles well it does kind of want to get away so it's gonna have to start with an attempt at escape i believe a oh. 28 will do it yeah unfortunate depends on your perspective um, How good is this guy's athletics? Jeez. He, he's pretty hefty. Um, I just want to grab him with my gun. He really doesn't want to be in the area of that ice storm either. Yeah, what's he doing? There are no good options for him. That's the big issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you better run. <laughs> Mm. Definitely getting pushed around though. So that, that, and he's going to take a swing at you, Sunshine. No. Can I move these clouds a bit? I'm unsure. The other living waterfall. I mean, 
It's gonna move to there. Yeah, that's all it has to move. I just it does not want to be in the cold storm anymore. All right, sorry. Let me just adjust. There you go. I fixed it. <laughs> I was just putting it there to be facetious, just to drop it, but I would have centered it on him. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like yes. you anymore. Sixteen oh, damage, Captain Archie. Uh, for his final Ouch. action. Doesn't have a final action. Wait. Move attack. Different one. Oh my god, it's two of them. Yeah. It makes it really difficult to track which one's which when they're one after the other in the initiative order. Nah, uh, that's uh, not gonna do it against you, Archie. As no. it attempts to pull you into the water over the deck of the ship. Awesome, Sunshine! Awesome, awesome. So... I'm going to move to here. Um, I'm then going to use my tentacle cannon to grab the wave again. That's a 22. Ooh. That's again, so it's grab. What a cheer? I think, I don't know. That will not be successful, unfortunately. Oh, man! What? Ruining my flow. Um, I'm gonna hero point that, and it's not <laughs> letting me. So I'm just gonna roll it again. Ugh. Well, there's a hero point wasted. Um. I mean, it's used. That's better than usual. I'm then gonna stop messing around, put away the tentacle cannon, <laughs> and resort to extreme violence by drawing out the hook and poke. All right, well, that's a swap action. I gave them the chance to deal with nice sunshine that was experimenting with gimmicks. Now it's time to deal with sunshine who is very annoyed. Well, the so gimmicks were working for a little while there. <laughs> it's time to deal with one E sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> um, move that, that, done. All right. So, actually, I shouldn't have been able to switch. So, I will still have the gun because I did a two action interact. Sorry, that's on me. Right. Despicable. Okay, so I don't actually have a swim speed. So, how's this working out for me? You roll an athletics check? Like right now? Uh, to swim. Yeah. And if you don't use the swim action, you begin to sink. Okay. It's like flying, but in water. So you start sinking. No. <laughs> so you start sinking. Oh, How on. difficult is the DC on this water, Matt? It looks pretty calm. You mean within the vortex of the living waterfall? Uh, how big is this guy's vortex? Jeez. Mm. Yeah, where's their, where's their emanation? Show me the emanation, Matt. It's within yeah, 30 where's feet. these auras? Jeez. Can I cast spells while sinking? <laughs> um, let me. Does it? Yeah, do while you, you are sinking, breathe? I do is... need air. Okay. While you are sinking, if you do not take a breath, you only have an amount of rounds equal to, if from memory, three plus your constitution modifier. With three rounds. That's plenty. Now, if you cast mm -hmm. a spell with verbal components, you lose all your air. Actually, I will say, mm -hmm. um, What's a it's component? only when you end your turn in the water and haven't succeeded at a swim action that turn. Okay. So it would be at the end of this round that you start sinking. So you don't really need to worry about that right now. <laughs> you get a spell before you go underwater. Neat. Okay. Cut 
calm emotions. All right. Mm -hmm. Who are you casting it on? Calm the emotions. Um, <laughs> are you calming both, both of or them? just the one of them? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll center it there to try and hit both of these two. All right. So well, I am him. mostly like worried about this guy. And by worried, I mean, I want him to be nice and calm while the sack is coming towards him. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Don't worry about it, buddy. Oh, has it got the, it's got the incapacitation oh. trait on it? Oh, uh, well. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. Now you start sinking? I guess. Yeah. All right. Archie. Uh, well. I get the feeling. Is the water here, Matt? Uh, the water is not very deep. It's about 15 feet. Oh, cool. And this oh, is cool. why I don't have bottom. fire breath. Um, I will point out, however, that once again, this village does lie on a coral reef. So what's at the bottom is sharp coral and stones. I wear coral every day, Matt. It's not that bad. I'm a robot. Oh, I'm not worried is about you. Is that a Juliet saying she wears coral, or is that <laughs> Sunshine saying she wears, Sunshine. She wears coral? <laughs> coral is sharp. Coral yeah, Sunshine wears it as armor. He's not bothered by it. Um. Yeah, corals. Coral and oysters. That's dangerous stuff. Oh, oh listen, my sister oh, got her failures. Right. Cut open. Oh, That's um... some solid damage, too. Oh. Oh, right, because it's now focus four. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so excited. I love it. Near death. Hey, man, dealing damage is satisfying. It really is. What's that? 54 over the two of them? And I have. Yes. Uh, I know that not the boat. I have draconic blood magic. I mean, you could give it to the boat if you like. <clears throat> Actually, no, it's. Doesn't. You're, you, you're <laughs> right. I can give it to the boat. Technically, actually, no, it's not applicable because it's not living it's not a dragon boat uh i don't think it needs to be a living target might not let me let me let me get hold on <laughs> you're checking now it doesn't matter we can keep we can keep going but yeah no you're just gonna look it up uh the quietoid um look solar the sack it doesn't like you anymore. You tried to put it into a sack. It's gonna happen. Yeah. If the spell has an area, you must designate yourself or one target in the area when you cast the spell to be the target of the blood magic effect. Okay. That would be a critical hit as it strikes you with its tentacles, Sola. Cool. Jesus. Uh, I don't like this guy. Does this account, Matt, Matt, Matt? Yep, I don't think yep. you're taking into account the, the cuboid distance. Um, oh, God. Because Sol is 10 feet underwater right now. It's going to go for just a grab. Saying. I'm just saying, Matt, I don't think you're accounting for it. And it's going to do is the grapple. Sol 10 feet underwater. And athletics. Wait, they're both still alive? How, how bad are these guys injured? <laughs> Badly injured near death. I was goofing uh, off a while, so... I've been taking hits. Big hits. Sunshine has not taken any damage, so I'm just like, yeah, this isn't that bad. But Sol is, like, underwater, badly injured, so I should, I should probably go help her. Also restrained now. I be running away. Oh, fun. Restrained they is They flipped fun. the script. They're hugging you. Um, yeah. So, Sol, you are currently being restrained by tentacles. Good. <laughs> As things should be. Mm -hmm. Matt, you're doing this to yourself by. Um, yeah, no, look, I get doing it. Doing the maid outfit uh, in with the tentacles. I need you to make a fortitude save, Nick. Oh, <laughs> Last okay. night conversation has come back full circle. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Critical failure. Well, <laughs> critical <laughs> failure. It was destined to be Sola got animated to death. 
something seen enough something. Yeah, right? Uh, so you will take double this damage. Hmm. How soul would you in? Near death. Near death? Not at death. Just near death. Uh, yeah. That is it done, however. Okay. Um, its apologetic tone has kind of disappeared at this point. <laughs> Mosh is going to swim to here. Um, and then Mosh is going to do another vicious swing against the wave. Get it. Get it dead. I think is the move here. Oh, I think you're going to super oh. kill it. Oh. Oh, I get to feel... I get to feel powerful. Was that vicious um, swing again? Yeah, that's a vicious swing. Um, why are we not getting... Oh, I know why we're not getting that. It's because I have the wrong pickaxe. Because I'm in my focus. So I See, need I to be using... something like that. Um, and then... I need to be rolling crit damage. Oh my goodness. There's so many freaking toggles on this thing. <laughs> uh, that looks all good. Yep. This looks right. This looks like wow. the right amount of damage. Yep. Oh, look at that. 62 damage. Is he dead yet? Is he dead yet? Oh, look at that. He's dead yet. <laughs> he takes 62 damage. Oh, look at that. And with the anchor, it, the living waterfall is split in two. Exploding. Uh, and then movement. no rain, no Vicious. water drops fall onto the ocean because he falls back into the sea of the plane. Yep. Okay. And then. Oh, look, he's dead. Um. Move closer to you, Archie. And then he's going to attempt to attack you. Can you not? <laughs> Look, considering how I started this fight, I am taking these. That's two natural 20s that you've hit me where you really shouldn't have crit me. Oh, is that Archie like, down? I, probably. Yes. Yeah, no, it absolutely will be. Yeah. Like... Mm. What's this AC you speak okay, of? I've All I this. see is you dying. Oh no, it's I've about to get worse. This. Yeah, because you're going to drag me into the water. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. <clears throat> oh, you're going to kill our captain. Well, when I said Sunshine would be captain of the ship if Archie died, I did not expect that to eventuate, Matt. Shit. And there is a splash. Uh, no, no, no. I really should have taken these guys more seriously, but they're just such little guys. <laughs> they're uh, so silly. Changed that. Uh, because that you're unconscious that. when you got the initial hit as well, Archie. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't so have the opportunity you. to catch your breath or to uh, take a breath. Nope. However, That's persistent damage. That is it done. Yeah, but that doesn't matter until my turn. <laughs> that yeah, is very true. Yeah. You have some um, time. Please go save well, the captain. I'm going to try to save Sola so she can save the captain. Um, uh, I have this covered. Please go save the captain. So yeah, I can't 20. save the captain. Um, <laughs> so, Matt, nah, I got a head. question for you. Yeah, um, what is your question? Please. How please does... If I were to grab forced movement Sola, um, would that break? How does that work with her being restrained? Uh, when Do I make a check? You would have to... This is one of those things where, technically speaking, you're doing a, an escape check on behalf of someone else. Okay. How how strong does it look like he's holding Sola? Uh, pretty, pretty struggling. Pretty strongly. Yeah. Stronger than a than a plus thirteen, would you say? I don't know. Do you want to use a recall knowledge to find out? Um. Is he your hunted prey? 
He he was my hunted prey. I have recalled knowledge on him before. I'd have to recall knowledge again. Because you're asking different questions now. Because I'm asking Don't you get a different a bonus to that question. One? Um. Eh, I'm just gonna try it. Because I've got. I really don't have a better plan if I recall knowledge and it turns out he's got a bonkers athletics thing. I'm gonna try to. Um. I'm gonna interact <laughs> twice to grab Sola. Yep. And pull her 10 feet directly towards me. Okay, so what I want you to do is roll the plus 13 you get for your. for the yeah. tentacle cannon. <laughs> Does that succeed, Matt? Um, I. give me a second. Uh. Okay. Uh, that does not succeed, unfortunately. Hero point. Does that succeed, Matt? That will succeed. Awesome. So, Shola is broken free and pulled to the surface. Right next to me. Ugh. Um, I will then drop the grapple as a free action, I think? To ungrapple somebody? Don't see why not. Um, and it is a I'm gonna sh shoot the Quatoid. <laughs> this feels really cool. Does it feel like it's the best use of of my actions? Not really, but it feels cool. Oh, squid gun. Let's go. Hey, my the best use of my actions would have been getting away from this guy. Um, but OK, now Sola can deal with the fact that our captain is dying. <laughs> and the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't know. You've got heal spells. I yeah, don't have way over here. Yeah, well, there is also a big boat in the way. Uh, okay. I don't have a swim speed. Yeah, Solar. OK, so swimming. Uh, no. No? First Question. Is I'm using my, uh, thing from Vital Beacon, which is cast at the beginning of each day. Oh, yeah, you did do that. Is that Vital Beacon? 4d10. Oh, yeah. 4d10. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Single interact. Laying hands on yourself? Nice. I do like Vile Beacon for that. This is pretty cool. We all have it. You have two actions left. If one, yeah. of, those is, if one of those is not swimming, it's uh, drowning. I will say the Vortex should be considerably easy it should be considerably easier to swim now that you're out of the vortex as long as you're not in the uh, vortex the water is considered calm 50 feet yeah. and vortex is not spinning around you anymore it's got a how big do you range. create a large emanation would you like me to reveal it yes please where is the reveal option? Um, is it an athletics check to try and get back onto the pier? I'm going to say yes. The DC is not going to be extraordinarily high, though. There's also a ladder just there. Hey, that's yeah, a you're good. good check. You can get up a mantle. I can't actually move because the boat's in the way. Boop. Yep. And 25 feet. And that's me done. All right. I shot him, Matt. You did shoot him. Um, And he has his orders. Oh, and is it to kill the little seaweed, man? That's mostly just to kill all of you. Uh oh. That miss. miss. He's not as angry at you. I'm just also smaller. I'm a smaller target. I'm nimble in the water. You are nimble in the water and not flat footed. That nimble. is him. Dutch.
Mush. Um, mush. Uh, would like to. I can just swim under the ship. That's a thing I can do. Yep. Cool. Mosh doesn't like that the captain is the only target near this big wave. So Mosh is going to go make himself a target um, by swimming over and uh, vicious swinging. One um, second. Now it does have a swim speed. Easy done. Um, I do need Mosh to make a reflex save. Okay. Um, Let me give you that. Oh, just because Mosh is bigger at the moment. Huh? One, two, three. Okay. Mosh will take 13 damage as he gets scratched up by the coral and the sharp rocks. Now he can fish the Okay. Swim. Cool. Um, I'm going to vicious swing. Big hit, big hit. Oh, oh big hit, big hit. Woo. Oh, uh, I think I Lots just... of numbers. Big hit. 73 damage. God. I get why wow. Jules likes this build. What did you roll? You... <laughs> One of those was a three as well. Oh my uh, God. At this point, the vortexes stop. The quatoid, however, the is still alive. If you want, there's definitely blub, some plurality blub. there. Blub, blub, blub. Uh, that is Mosh Matt, done. why aren't I dying? No, I'm dying too. Are you dying too? Crit me. And you're going to be right. dying three <laughs> because of persistent damage. Just dying three from failed check. Do you want that persistent check now, Matt? Uh, that persistent it's damage? It's not persistent damage. It's you're drowning. So you take yeah. it. Cool. All right. Um... So you can spend all your hero points to not be dead. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Are you going to? I don't know. I, I really feel like making Matt feel real guilty right now. <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm going to spend all my hero points. You guys spend all your hero points? You cool, I am conscious. not going to die just because some dude just wouldn't <laughs> stop <laughs> fucking critting me. That uh, was two natural 20s in a row. Yeah. He said, like, I have a choice in the matter. Yeah. This is officially the closest we've gotten to a death. Uh. You spend the spend all your hero points. You are returned to gone. zero. I have no hero points. You are returned to zero. You are stable. Next turn, he won't be. Uh, <laughs> and you're wounded one. <laughs> Am I wounded? Yeah, I thought it. I thought it cleared the wounded as well. I don't. For heroic recovery. Look, considering you spent three hero points, then I am happy for you yeah, to I not know, have that the felt wounded. Really bad. <laughs> oh wait, I could have just. Oh. Never mind. I would have had to have spent them all anyways. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, because you can spend it. Oh, you can do oh, one. Oh no, on you the don't gain check. the wounded condition or increase its value from losing the dying condition in this way. Yeah. Archie, but you, you have been given a hero or... point. By uh, I am still unconscious and underwater, right? Yeah. Hell. So hopefully Sola can solve that by next turn. Um. <laughs> Just put it all on you, Solar. She's the only one that can do anything. Well, let's move it so the camera. Yeah, let me just. As Sunshine one v ones an octopus. Yeah, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna exchange for um Dead. the tentacle cannon. Uh, I'm gonna sheath it and draw the old hook and poke. Single action. And then. See, I know this is probably not the case, I'm but gonna... I'm imagining that Sunshine's doing this all from the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he absolutely would if he could. <laughs> just cuts himself free of the ship and just, <laughs> just shimmying forward. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's gonna crit. It's no mosh critical, but it's still good damage. It is Critch still good damage. 
It's a melee crit, and melee crits are always tasty. Um, so that's a hit. Um, and then... I'm gonna say... Are, you know what I said about extreme violence? Um, I do mean to, uh, to make good on that threat. And this is an intimidation check to demoralize. Alright. Um, he is my hunted prey. So I get a little bonus. He's kind of smart. No. <laughs> I'm not very intimidated. You have one hero point remaining, but it looks things. Absolutely right. not. With the way what? things are going, I'm gonna need it to spend on uh, not dying. You know what? I feel, I feel like Fair. I feel like all he gets is just a rustling set of seaweed in the water, and it's just vibrating weeds. <laughs> all he sees is the 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 ripples coming out of the top, the surface of the water. <laughs> Go break every bones in those arms. Joke's on you, I don't have bones. I'm hoping that counts as I can see the captain enough. Yes. He's just limp body. Yeah. Floating underwater. Two action. Two action? That is an antithesis. Good healing. Oh, hey! That's wow. That's that's a lot of healing. Yeah, no clerics. Yeah, that's not clear. That's heal. <laughs> yeah, I am but that's alive. the D10 healing that clerics get from healing hands feet. I don't have that. Am I no longer unconscious? You are no longer yeah. unconscious. Hooray. Am I prone still? Yes. I uh, know because you're underwater. Yeah, you're not prone, but you are off guard because you are in water and don't have a swim speed. Unless you have the underwater marauder skill feat. Except uh, I should do. If you do, then I'm pretty you're pretty sure I grabbed it. Because because it like makes no sense not to have it in this campaign. Right. Hey, look, underwater marauder. Then you're good. You're not off guard while you're in the water. Um, look, we we know how this is going down. He's going to die. <laughs> Through extreme okay. violence. <laughs> He's gonna hit you. Hit me, Matt. Okay. He's gonna deal some damage. Okay. And then he's gonna grab. Okay. Or at least he's try. gonna attempt it. <laughs> oh, that's a critical success. I am restrained. You are. The I mean, as cool as that is. Man, that. those are some huge tentacles he's got. <laughs> what is this, the Kraken? Oh, no, that's for later. Can you unrestrain our boat, Matt? <laughs> it's weirdly aggressive and it's upsetting people. <laughs> it's a big fucking chains. Uh, for his final action. What's restrained do to me? The only action you can do is to escape. Oh, that's but bullshit. He is now constricting you. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I can take actions. They just can't have the attack or manipulate trait. Um, roll that damage, Matt. Do you roll my basic fort save? Oh, well, those are good numbers. Good numbers from Sunny Boy. <laughs> Weirdly threatening. <laughs> uh, that is him done, however, as he has you in his tentacles and is slowly squeezing the life out of you, I guess. Something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Mosh swimming under the boat. You want to you yeah. wanna reflex again? Yep. It is a persistent okay. environmental effect in the area. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> Takes a whole nine damage. Um, let me, let me look at my stuff here. Oh, now I have options. Watto. Um, you know you want to uh, do the vicious swing. Yeah, I do. I just need to, um, I need to check 
I think I get the plus two now. Because you don't up? know what triggers that, because it doesn't say on the ability. But I think it's when I'm below half. It is below half. Oh, for serious? Okay. It takes a minute to cast. So um, then I get my plus two. Uh, it's a status add roll. See, when I wrote this encounter, I was like, this is just going to be like a fun little encounter thing. Because I was goofing yeah. off too hard, Matt. <laughs> I don't even think it was that. I think it's because Matt crit me twice. I mean, that's what it really was, but... Hits is um, now well, badly it... injured. Yeah. Oh, like, specifically, Nat 20 crit me. Oh, I've been ganged up on. More things to grab. Okay. That's much done? Yeah, that's, that's three. Swim, vicious swing. Archie, you're conscious. I'm conscious and still underwater. Can I see this blob from all the way uh, down under my watery abyssness? Yes. You got that. It's Wonderful. not that deep here. Uh, heightened plus two. Are you going to arcane barrage him? Or I was very tempted him? to, but <laughs> I think this is more uh, suitable for... A fair shot? All right. Camp. You have well, been given a hero point. I do now have a hero point. Um, There's no one no. nearby to drown you again. I'm no, uh, and I am going to start swimming to the surface. All right. Um, it is calm water now. I'm not going to make you roll for it because the DC is ten. That's because Matt uh, doesn't want you to crit fail. No. That's not how it works, Matt. Well, roll it then. See, you're fine. Good success. I am now back at the surface. Hey, I, it's important so I know how <laughs> far I swim. Okay. I he could have just gone. rolled a regular five. Sunshine. Well, I don't like that he's grabbed me. I think that's really rude. Um. Well, so... I mean, you attacked me first. I am once again going. Actually, how does if I fail a demoralize, I can't do it again, right? He's Correct. Immune. Correct. Okay. Well, Ten I minutes. am going to. Bosch can attempt to demoralize him. I attempt to break out. I guess. Oh. Athletics, Mushin acrobatics, or an arm strike. Waste of. Uh waste of an action and it has the Colin. attack trait too i know it's fucking awful you know freaking fail uh, I, i'm assuming that's a failure that is a failure unfortunately yeah yeah um what is what is how that's does what i find so interesting the about like athletics marshals oh they can they the... can basically choose hmm what kind of debilitation do I want to remove from your action pool today? Yeah, that's it. You've, you've got trippers, you've got grapplers. Um, gonna try again. What's that? They have a high fortitude. Well, I'm gonna trip them instead because do they have a high re yeah. reflex? Um, also, Matt, would mm -hmm. that have, um, would that have succeeded on a, on a sick, on a 20? No. Just because technically my unarmed attack is a little higher. Um, so I'm gonna try again. Oh, look at that! You're out. Am I? Am I out? You cool. are super out. I'm so out. Um, you have one action remaining. I'm gonna swim. For flanking, what is yeah. this strategy? Yeah, well, actually, I'm really trying to encourage him to move. That's what I really want, but not telling him that. Well, he probably will move if that helps. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, Solar, what you doing? I've just moved over to there. 
I will be helping get the captain back up. But that took three, three actions, so. Okay. Do it, Matt. Move. What? Do a step. Oh, you can you can do a step. <laughs> Be a loser. Can you step in the water? I don't know, actually. Let's see. That is a good question. Um, you carefully move five feet. You can't like step using a speed other than your land speed. Well, there Ooh, you go. He can't you know. step because he'll be using his swift speed. So he is going to move to there. Oh, that's great, Matt. That is wonderful. Um, I get to make an attack on him. Roll a one. Um, so this will be that fun. Is, that is very interesting. Yeah. Like I'd I'd never could I'd never put real stock into whether or not it was possible, but thank you. It does Isaac. call it out in the doing... call it out in the rules. Hmm. Because it's like the whole difficult terrain thing you can't do. Oh my god, I'm rolling shit on my damage. Look, it's stacking up, and especially in a <laughs> reaction, that's not great for him. Uh, uh. In reply, however, he is going to attack you. He could try. He can succeed. He does a lot of damage for a little dude. I know, man. Uh, he's not expecting a little dude to do this much damage. He's going to attempt to uh, grapple you. I don't know why he's trying to grab me. There's a big mosh right there. All uh, I'm his saying. grab and is built into his attack. Is no, but like, listen, I don't know why he's going after me. The big mosh is a much more bigger concern. You just um, attacked him. Say. I'm restrained. You yeah. are restrained. Fuck this shit. It's like that. It's like that. <laughs> he's 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 busy laughing at you, grappling you, and the mosh is just <laughs> scowling, coming up behind him like that Undertaker picture. I mean, look at that face. Would you be frightened by that face? Uh, yeah, when it's full of thunder. It is Mosh's turn now, however. Um, and yes, I would be frightened by that because I've watched Attack on Titan. At least once. Um? And the Titans have the same looks on their faces, and it's just like, that is terrifying. Mosh uh, does have okay. reach at the cool. moment. So it won't be flanking, even if I move. So I'm not going to move. And I'm just going to up. Just going to hammer down. Yeah, I'm going to vicious swing again. So. That's a hit. That's a hit because of a status bonus. Wait, was Modifiers that matter. No, it's um Mosh's a uh, Thanator shit. Ah, wonderful. Yeah. Like I don't think I give status bonuses to hit. Gets a bonus on the first hit every round. From mm. memory. But roll that yes. damage. Oh my god. Come oh, on. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna stride to be next to Sunshine. So if Sunshine gets attacked again, yeah, can can take that. All right. I don't like this guy. He's an <laughs> asshole. I'm gonna hunt I'm him playing. down. I'm pretty sure when he grabbed me, he broke my bucket, and I'm gonna hunt him down on the water plane and kill him again. <laughs> so he How dies far? for realsies. How far is the uh, surface of the water to the top of the thing? Uh, it's like five feet. There's not a lot of distance there. Sick. Question uh, also related to movement underwater. Yes. Um, can you leap underwater? Um. Do you mean onto the boat? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, can you leap underwater? Oh. If you're using Dive and Breach, yes. It's got the water trait. I'm going to allow it. Okay. That's not going to require a discussion. I didn't want to have the 
I, I, I was more for the music sake. Yeah. Um, so I I jump ten foot away from the ship as like to not dolphin. damage my boat with bludgeoning damage, and then I kind of come out from well under underneath him. You want me to um, move you? Uh, to then leap up to the top of the boat. Boop. Um, so, uh, if you could please make a reflex saving throw for me. Nice. I guess I can. At least one of us is rolling decent damage. Just a success, so he'll take half. I'm, I'm coming to his house and I'm killing him. <laughs> How close is he? He's so close. You think I'm joking? I'm putting this in my notes right <laughs> now. Enemies. Um, Archie, you have what one action? action. Do I arcane shot? No. I don't arcane shot. I don't think you've demoralized him yet. I haven't. Force barrage. Just for the guaranteed damage. Oh, oh it's yep. at level three, so it'll be two. Yep. Oh, very clever. He is going to live through this, however. Get him, Sonny. I can I can hear Sunshine making the notes. Uh, it, it switched and it freaking messed up my note. <laughs> in the middle of my note taking. I'm even more angry now. I'm gonna escape. Escape. That will Is be that enough. Escape? Meets beats. I escape. I hit. I feel like we have <laughs> calamari. I feel like you do I in fact have calamari. Damage. <laughs> now the question is is that going to be enough yes he had 30 hit points worth of near death I'm concerned about what how his total hit point pool was it was pretty big he's fucking dead the oh there we go <laughs> it took it took a moment to switch him to, to a blood splatter I was whew. with the what last was he on one uh, he was down to 11 Oh, wow. Uh, well done. Um, let me go to the Hoist the Colors discussion. Now, with that, we are going to go to our break because we are overdue for it by a little while and I definitely need a coffee. So, we shall be back in about 10 minutes. Uh, thank you everyone for watching so far and for everyone who is coming in. Uh, it's really appreciated and it really helps in the algorithm when people are talking and stuff and chatting. So that is also super appreciated. And yeah, no, I'm... Look, I knew something would happen when I started using tentacles and things like that, but it's just something you accept when you start a campaign like this. It's going to happen at some point. It's better just to rip the band-aid off. But we shall be back in about 10 minutes after we stretch our legs, go to coffees, drink water, all that other fun stuff, and we shall see you back very soon. Hello everyone, and we have returned! Creature time! Forget the mm. ASMR. Uh, the, po the poll is almost finished. But how's everyone feeling so far? Dead. Feeling good. Well, I can't vote. I nearly this became is... captain of the ship, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was real close there for a second. Oh, look at that! We all get we hero points! We all get points. a hero point on... <laughs> Uh, wow, contribution, 200 channel points. I mean, to be fair, that was just me going, Archie should get the hero point, and then being like, oh, wait, no, people had perfectly balanced them. Let me respect that. Does that mean I get the, I get the hero point? No, we all get a hero point, man. <laughs> no, you, you killed me. You don't get anything this session. Uh, well, we'll have to figure out what happens when there's a three-way tie. Or even a two-way tie, really. But for now, we all get hero <laughs> points. Yeah, for, for now, we will continue to game the system. 
All right. Well, what are people doing immediately? Um. Collapsing. I'm gonna... Almost like you have about three actions worth of things you can do. I'm gonna look at the dissipatingness real hard and see if I can figure out what style of magic would have caused this. You want an occultism check for that? Yeah, give me occultism. Would you consider this recalling knowledge? Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There you go, Matt. Nat 20, obviously. Obviously. Um, so what do you want to know? Like, origin of the spell? Um, yeah, like, who, who, what style of caster would have cast this? Uh, arcane, probably occultish. Mm -hmm. Uh, cultish. cultish. You are hagish, perhaps? Yeah, I was about to say. You're familiar enough with um, the magic of hags to know that that's probably the origin for this particular spell. Okay. <laughs> Archie's, am, I, am I dragging Solar over? Solar doesn't have to do anything. No. Oh, that's right. I cast it at the beginning of the day, everyone gets some. Yeah, uh, but this is more of an order for me to tell Solar to use Vital Beacon on themselves. I'm not the worst. Um, You're badly injured. Hang on, let me, let me, let me open up that sheet again. <laughs> I was looking at this. Okay. Yes, you're the worst. I'm the worst. Cool. Hmm. That's cool information. Because you said three actions, um... Jesus. Tab. Um, because you said three actions, only one of us gets to do this, I assume? Well, consider it, you, you have, each person has three round, three actions worth of things they can do. Mosh is gonna three action lick his eyeball. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds like Mosh. <laughs> Actually, wait, does Mosh does Mosh know magic stuff? I don't think so, but I'll, I'll check. Nature will work for this. Oh, Mosh is gonna one action lick his eyeball, two action nature this shit. Is it this, the same or less than Sunshine's information? Yeah, I don't have any extra information for you, unfortunately. Coolio. And also critical failure, which is the important part. Oh, uh, uh, listen, Sun. I was going to trust Sunshine's information over Mosh's, regardless of what, um, if there were conflicting information. God. I've got bias, Matt. Uh, Solar, what are you doing with your rest of your actions? Um, I'll move over to the rest of them so that I can begin the healing. Excellent. And Archie? I... Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a minute spell casting time. Damn it. Oh, you don't have the actions to do that quite yet, Solar. Oh, okay. Um. I don't have anything. Well, no. while you're figuring that out, I will get everyone to roll. Oh, first things first. The realist. Let's put you all into a little, cute little initiative order. I needed perception initiative checks from everyone. Really, Matt? You're back to backing us right now. Yeah, no, I am. Jesus, Matt.
on uh, sunshine why do i feel like it's really fitting for solo to have the highest initiative role here as if solo was looking for another one of her squid friends to kidnap yeah i will abandon oh. you all oh sorry i didn't realize that you had already oh no grab oh you were doing a perception check for something else that's fine Oh, oh, that's why it didn't throw me into initiative. I saw, I thought I had rolled initiative for Sunshine, but then I saw that I wasn't, at, didn't have a number, so I figured I would do it to make sure I have a number. <laughs> all right, this well, helps, Matt. as all of you are kind of like tending to your wounds and kind of just looking around from the fight, uh, you see a woman step out from behind one of the buildings uh holding some sort of pearl in her hand uh, she gives it a quick kiss before flicking it into the air and into the water i don't know what you just did there lady but i'm gonna guess that you're probably a hag and I will tell what I told your friends that you sent after us. Um, we are going to give you one chance. Um, and if you do not take that one chance, we are going to visit extreme violence upon you. And as you are from the material plane, this will result in your catastrophic death. She gives you the toodaloo wave with her fingers as the pearl begins to bubble in the water. Mm hmm And surging up from it. Quick, let me cast a fourth level dispel magic with that Where's the uh, lady? blood magic spell I've got. Oh, wait. She would have been over here. Okay. But she's going to run off. Can I follow her, Matt? Oh, I think you're going to have bigger things to deal with very soon. Oh, pff, no, I'm, I'm hunting this lady. Extreme violence, Matt. <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate water snakes. For a moment there, I thought that was a snake with a human face and was like, ew. Do you want a closer look? Like, it's not too spectacular. Um. There you go. Fucking hate this guy. Um. <laughs> and by this guy, I just mean water elementals. I don't have anything cool to do against water elementals. Um. Surprise! I'm gonna two action shake out the rats. Yep. And then I'm gonna go after the lady. I'm I'm running after the lady, Matt. I don't know. I'm gonna try to skate around. So the rats are gonna be over here. Mm. Give me a second. And I don't Boop. get to command them as a part of that, so they're just gonna sit there for a second. What's the rats' movement speed? Oh, like bullshit. Bullshit good or just shit? Uh, bullshit good. They also have a swim speed. Now. 30 foot. Considering we're in a very oceanic campaign. Yars. Yeah. Would it make sense for Sunshine to get like, I don't know, a, a plank of wood and perhaps ride the, uh, the rodent wave? God. No, I'm just going to walk. No, would that be a bit of a cow walking? I'm walking. All right. <laughs> Aww. Sola. Three Are you mute? action. Oh, there you go. Three action. But you're going to heal the elemental. The oh. elemental that's taken so much damage. Oh my god, that's rough. That is rough, though. That's why I don't believe in three action heals. I'll take it. Who did I just heal? Me. I healed Solar. I mean, I, I need that as Sola. well, so... Right. Yeah, you can heal yourself. Oh, and Mosh can grab it too. Having to be too... Tidal Master. Why is, he, why is he going after me? Okay. I'm just walking here. Yeah, no, I can see it. Yeah. Um, as you start to run after the presumed hag sunshine yeah the title monster Give swings out him to me fuck him 
Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't let me have any fun. Let me guess. Restrained. Well, first things first. Damage. Oh, I don't care about damage. You're gonna hit me with this fucking restrained. That's what I care about. Look, it's not a restrained. Uh huh. It's a technically a shove. Oh. That will oh, be a success, that. though. And he can pull you up to 10 feet. Fucking hate this guy. Why is he pulling me in that direction? He should pull me directly towards him. Why is that? I mean, I can put you there if you like. It's just closer to my goal. <laughs> <laughs> I All lose right, less man. progress. <laughs> Does he does he move with uh, Sunshine on that move? Uh, it's not technically a shove. It's a special shove that they get called I push or pull. I um, can. I, I was just wondering because it says you can stride after it, and that's a stride, which means it triggers. Uh, I, he's not my hunted prey. Not yet, anyway. Um, look, Mosh is big, but I don't think he's in range. No. No, no. Rats. Yeah, rats. Okay, Minus five. would you look at that? You're going after the rats. Um, would you look at that behind me? <laughs> Fair enough. So that will hit Mosh. 18 damage. Mosh will take that damage and will enter the adrenaline flow focus all right that is it done though how archie um first action will be to command my crew <laughs> yep um i was waiting uh, for it i was waiting for it cannon fire <coughs> sorry cannon fire as much as I'd love to uh, fusillade this guy, you can. I don't think it's a good idea to do that inside of a town or in the direction of a town. I well, would do it in the direction of a town. I'd this is, love this to is do the it. reason. If Sunshine had been promoted to captain <laughs> by Archie's untimely death, Sunshine would blow them up. Well, but, look, uh, no. consider. Kyo! Man the swivel guns! Yeah, right. Um. Is that a, a one or a two action thing? Well, it would be a crew action, but I will allow the shot from the swivel gun. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure Mosh still the... has one. I have one. Mosh, uh, Mosh just... and Sunshine has one. Roll from yours, Sunshine, just to make it easier. Uh, uh Sunshine. Um, let me draw it. Because I, I like to manage my hands properly. Um, See, oh. Sunshine's an octopus too. A mess. This one that is. <laughs> Did you already use a hero point? Just... Um, they're not my people. Does Archie want to spend a hero point for the crew? No. <laughs> All right, exactly. then. Exactly. Does the you might try and drown me spend again? The villain <laughs> point, Matt. I don't have one. <laughs> Chat's being no, mean and not you. giving me villain points. Well, it's because you almost killed Archie. <laughs> All right, what you, he did kill me. What you doing with the rest of your actions? Uh, do Archie? I have two actions? Uh, commanding your crew as captain is not an action. Oh, sweet! All three actions, wonderful. Thank uh, you. Where Marder. is it? Here we go. Oh, Nick, you traitor! Captain's goal? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, where you want it? I want my ship just here. It's Can my like boat see image. any running away ladies? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, a kind of spells do not work that way. Now, he's going to do a reflex save. He's pretty good for the reflex. 
Not good enough. So he'll take half that. All right. And that's you done, Archie, because you cast the incarnate spell. Got me done. As the spectral version of the Melody's Wake opens fire on this thing. Mush! Uh, gonna do a stride. Gonna vicious swing. Vicious swing? Why would you do such yeah. a thing? Roll. That's a hit. <laughs> vicious swing. God damn it. Ooh. 33 damage. Wish it had been a crit. Oh. It would have been so good if it were a crit. Anyways. God, that hurt, though. It's my turn. That's your turn done? Okay. Sunshine. He's still preoccupied. <laughs> he's got his plan. So he's going to stride. Doesn't like being next to that guy, though. So oh. Stride. At the bottom okay. of the initiative... I should have said this. As yeah. she gets to the edge here. Yeah. She leaps into the air. Yeah. Her legs turn to a fishtail. Yeah. And then she hits the water at full speed. I can swim. <laughs> um, Probably not I'm, as fast as her. I'm going to check it out, Matt. <laughs> Sunshine has a very preoccupied uh, thing. Uh, he is gonna command the rats. They're gonna yep. they're gonna hop in. Um, they're gonna be Smoosh. there just so they're not. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Directly, um, and then they are going to do a bite. Um, so if you can make me that reflex save for me, Matt. Reflex. I like that yep. chance. Not as not as good as I thought it would be. There you go, six damage. Three damage, Matt. Uh, takes three uh, damage. Plus one fire. Uh, he does not so. mind about the fire. Fucking Pokemon rules, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that is you done, though, Sunshine. Yeah, that's me done. Solar. Boop. <laughs> Oh, it's spirit damage as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it has to do its reflex save. Keep saying it's got a good reflex save. I mean, you keep succeeding, man. Yeah, and you keep succeeding. Good enough. Nineteen damage. damage. God, you're already hurting this thing. Yeah, that's how combat creature. works, Matt. There's this thing called action economy. It's <laughs> very big in, in, in some design spaces. Um... All right. So the thrust. Thing... By the way, the rats are actually directly, so they can be adjacent to Mosh. It's just for um, overlap purposes. That oh, they that's are there. okay. I'm about to do some shuffling anyway. Okay. First, I gotta take it off the ruler. If anyone has a tax of opportunity, now's your time to do it. He's not my hunted prey. I don't think Mosh has it either. Mosh does not. Mosh has other cooler reactions. Yeah, there you go. More bespoke reactions. Hey, well, this provides this makes things much easier for me. First action mm -hmm. is to attack Mosh. Okay. Sorry, I should say second action is to attack Mosh. Mm-hmm. I got a question for you, Matt. Yeah? If he pulls me closer, can I blood for blood him, or does that happen after I take damage? What's the trigger um, for Blood for Blood? I think it's once you get hit. The blood for Blood is when you're hit. Really? Blow is when you take Wait, damage. Wait, no, I have a Doesn't villain even point. Matter. I have a villain point. I'm using it. Oh, god damn it. Thanks, chat. 
Thanks, Nick. You Thanks, it, Nick. Anytime. <sighs> like to point out, this is how Tyro died last time. 23 damage from Osh. How who died last time? My fighter in Season of Ghosts. Um, <laughs> Went down to a crit, failed his save, and then died to a persistent damage effect. He's choosing <laughs> not to do the pull push. Okay. Because he's going to hit the rats. Okay. Interesting. Uh, the rats can take it. Uh, that should be my... No, no, that's fine. So that will hit. This is bludgeoning damage for the terms of its resistances, etc. Uh, okay. Uh, and so then... Move, attack, attack, that's it. Done! Back. Archie! I don't know why it doesn't apply resistances properly. There is a reason for it, and it's pretty much because they've been changing versions so often. <laughs> hmm. Um. Let's go with more cannon fire. Because I feel like we haven't had enough of it yet. So Are you can... feeling the full aside yet? She's no. <laughs> I'm doing my own. Oh yeah. Oh, I really should have demoralized first. That will be a hit though. Will be a hit. It's gonna be do a you want the crew day. to do a shoot? Though with the swivel gun at oh, the Oh god, least? I forgot how much damage that does. Yeah. It helps when I roll well, too. Um, yes, I would like the crew to be doing a shot. I did oh, tell Keo cool. to start shooting. Doo -doo -doo. Wendy is helping load the swivel gun. Well done, Wendy. <laughs> Let's go, Wendy Gale. 25. That'll be a hit. Hey! It doesn't have a massive armor class. Let's go, Windy Gale. It Getting is those hits. Literally in. just a wave. Cool. Um. You have one action remaining. Demoralize. This is where I find out it's mindless, and I'm just going to be upset. Actually, it's pretty rare for elementals to be mindless. Wonderful. Uh, and I do speak Thalassic. That's why so. I think elementals should be used more often than the undead. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> why Why do you like using the undead so much? Kind of weird. <laughs> Might have something to do with the scenario I'm writing at the moment. Reroll. Reroll? Why aren't you writing the elemental embassy in Absalom? Oh, wait. Because the I most recent it. season has to do with Evidence the elementals. Evidence <laughs> not JPEG. Oh, nine. oh, nine to a seven. Oh, I really shouldn't have re-rolled that. I didn't realize how... How low I rolled. All right. All good? All I done? I think your boat departs. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. The boat departs? What are you talking about? I'm not done. I'm giving, I'm, I'm giving Mosh action economy. Boop. Um, yeah, so it, it essentially dives into the water but in a way so that it will knock the fellow back into the rats oh. and into mosh and we go ramming speed center there he has to do his reflex save mm -hmm. one of these days he's gonna fail it's still just a success. All right. So it still it still damages him. Roll your 3d8. Uh, uh, bap, bap, bap. Uh, bap, bap. What? Bap, bap, bap. There we go. I mean, 
But he does not get pushed away. He does not. That's a beans. All right. And with that, the captain's call disappears. Marsh's turn. Dunk him. Gonna stride to all. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? Oh. Just out. Oh, that's so awful. That's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> Do you need to be on the full opposite side? Mm -hmm. Considering that you and the rats are large creatures on either side of a large creature? So, um... Mosh would have to overlap here. Mosh, because okay. you have to pass through opposite sides yeah. of the... is the rule. So if Mosh so could gotta get be to here... There, yeah. That would be... That so would if someone be had idea. Tailwind... Um... Uh, Tailwind only affects yourself, not other Would creatures. you be able to leap over top of him? Matt, can I leap over <laughs> top of him? Um, no, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I figured. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we're I gonna mean, double could... stride and bonk. Or jump? Er, yeah, we're gonna double stride and bonk. So... Square would be too crowded with the boardwalk more than anything else, Sam. What do you mean? Plus two. I don't get to do my vicious swing, but I do get the flanking, so it's Walk worth ten it. Ten feet up probably. that way, then ten feet back in a straight line, and then. <sighs> Mosh has two hero points. Oh. Hey Matt. Yeah. How is that only a hit? He's flat-footed. Uh. Do, 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 do. Is he? Should be. Again, circumstance. Oh, I was right. You said you said you did double stride, so you can be. You're off by one. I misspoke about Matt. his armor class. Matt, you're telling me, oh, he doesn't have that great of an armor class, and I don't <laughs> crit with Mosh on a nineteen. Okay, yeah. Matt. On a on a nineteen. Is it and he's flat footed. Strength expert and you have a circumstance C. bonus. Is that circumstance bonus I'm from the adrenaline? 11. Adrenaline yeah. flow? Yeah, it should be. So he should be off guard for that. Uh, it didn't it didn't count as being off guard. Oh, uh, okay. His armor class was not dropped, so that will be a critical. Yeah. What do you say? Good. Crit, 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 crit. Because it shows Big me on my crit screen damage. whether it's a flat footed or not. And it didn't count it. Um, awesome. 29 AC oh. is pretty big. You can manage it. Jeez. Oh God. Sorry, not 29. 31 AC if he was flat footed. And that. Uh, that will end Bosch's turn, though. That's three actions. All right. This Wait, thing... do you get crit specialization effect for the pick? Oh, what is the weapon specialization? Uh, extra damage. Pick? Is it? Yeah. Wild. Let me. How do I. What do I. Uh... <laughs> what uh, do I do? It is. <sighs> extra point of damage per weapon dice, I think. Uh. That's... Oh my god. So that would be. Three? Four. Four? Because it would be two doubled. Or no, because it's not. So then it... Does uh, it get doubled by the crit? One second. No, because it's applied... No, no, it's applied after the fact. So it's Then it would two. just be two. Yeah. I thought you did a vicious swing, so that's why I was saying three. Uh, no, those don't count as weapon dice either. Uh, uh, additional the damage dice. The weapon viciously they're, they're pierces weapon the target who takes two additional damage per weapon damage die. That would be four then. That would be four? Four more damage, yeah. If you can give me that. <laughs> just just give me that that little four. Give me that, give me that little four. Oh, look at that. That did it. Um, Sunshine is going to go jump in the water <laughs> on his turn. Look for this lady. 
Give me a perception so check. So-called lady. Uh, she's my hunted prey, and I am seeking her. Yep. Just so you know. Um, this is this is Mosh's character sheet. It's really annoying because we have the <laughs> same perception modifier, and so I was really confused. Um, I will give you that. <laughs> uh, so you do see her off in the distance. She has gone underwater. Mm hmm. She has grabbed a hold of what looks like a dragon. Hmm. And is quickly outpacing. Yeah, uh, can I try to identify this dragon? You absolutely can. Give me a. I'm gonna hunt the prey for this on this <laughs> dragon for this check. Um, Do you want a littoral lore check? Yeah, actually, littoral lore will count for this one. Oh, let's go. Coming in clutch. Uh, this would be a brine dragon. Okay. Ew. Briny. Smells like smells like sunshine. <laughs> is the brine dragon? Is that an imperial dragon? I'm just trying to visualize it. Um, uh, imperial dragons. Uh, clouds. Uh, jungle. Uh, magma and. Oh Brian. no, it's C. Yeah, Brian is part of their neutral dragon set. Okay. Boop. That's show players. Oh, okay. This is just a little. He's like a blue dragon, but uglier. Okay. They're real into salt. Yeah, I got that by their name. They're like. They're, their lairs and like treasure pile is mostly salt. That's so real, to be honest. And it's quite valuable to some people. Tall. I... <laughs> his, his lair is just made up of League of Legends. <laughs> Web, Web cafes. <sighs> oh. <laughs> For the salt of the commentary. Anyway. They're, they're, they're all just professional players. <laughs> That's how we win. Alright, well, um... Cool. I'm gonna take note of that. Yep. Well, did do you want any extra information about the bride dragon? Uh, I mean, I assume he does dragon things. He's got probably a draconic frenzy, probably the tail strike whenever you move. Oh, um, you're using meta knowledge. A breath weapon. Draconic uh, frenzy. Practical yeah, I presence. Think either that or he can cast spells and can't Draconic Frenzy. Mm. Did, did you want Judging to know something special about it? Judging by the fact that he's got a spellcast lady on the back. Yeah, I would love to know something special it. about it, Matt. <laughs> uh, his... Because all dragons, or most dragons, have some sort of reaction, but they're usually bespoke for this, this species of dragon in question. Uh, for the Brian Dragon, it is a spit. As a reaction. Oh, okay. What's the trigger? Uh, creature the brine dragon observes within 30 feet uses a concentration action. This is sucks spell, for people that concentrate on things. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And yeah, it kind of just spits some salt at them. Damn it, I concentrate on things. <laughs> so. <laughs> the five stages of grief. <laughs> Actually, I'll just send that to chat. There you go. So what, what Matt's really saying here is that this would be great for Sunshine to kill the lady, steal the dragon as a mount, and then start spitting on Arcada. Oh, that would be so good. Um, I should also point out that they How are absolutely... How to train your dragon arc. They are absolutely sentient. How to train your dragon arc. I can make friends <laughs> with him. I yeah, can but... fix him, Matt. Is it a boy dragon or a girl dragon? Too far away. <sighs> Reptilians. Come on. I couldn't Wrong. sex the dragon from a uh, <laughs> hundred feet. Underwater. That's the technical At term. speed. <laughs> yes, Matt. That's what I wanted to be able to do. Get dragon lord hey. and come back to me, okay? Some people love high-speed sexing dragons. 
<laughs> they usually stay on Tumblr, though. <laughs> Is someone going to, like, the no context on hijinks for that? Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'll put it in. But yeah, otherwise, she, she at this point, she's gotten away. Okay. To dash your hopes and dreams, unfortunately. Uh, well, I'll find her again. Oh, I'm sure. No, look, that's absolutely going to happen. I love me a recurring villain. Everyone knows this. Yeah, it's why you didn't let me uh, run after her. You were kept discouraging me. And I'm like, Matt, I know where you are as a GM <laughs> with this. But also know that my boy is running after her. Yeah, she's just really quick in the water. Yeah. And so's the dragon, Why is she actually. cute? Yeah. Average? How much, how, how, how critical would the tentacle effect be on her May costume? Well, she wasn't <laughs> wearing a May costume, she was wearing a pirate costume. Okay. Which is slightly better, but not a lot. Um... I'm gonna make friends with this dragon. <laughs> whose gender is indeterminate, and whose sex is even more indeterminate. But, what are people's response to the situation? Oh, we killed the thing. Okay. Yeah, don't I'm going to pull <laughs> myself out of the water and um, immediately I see this sort of like, uh, like pot. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to try sitting in it. See if it makes a good bucket. It does. Mmm, does it though, Matt? It makes a good vase. I don't think Sunshine finds it as good as his old bucket. This is gonna be a recurring theme, Matt. Oh, oh no. You broke my bucket. It's fine. He's gonna steal it, though. This is his bucket now, for now. I'm just gonna go for that whole uh, creak in your neck because you didn't sleep well. <laughs> yeah. The new mattress isn't working. All right. What is everyone else doing, though? Sighing. Oh my gosh. Um, I will get I you to do back. a perception check, Archie. Also, Sola. I can All do right, I think we might best be heading back to the ship to, um... Go back to sleep, honestly. Because I'm tired. Something, something. Drag. Bobbing in the water, Archie, is Bobbing a small water, blue Archie. pearl. Oh, I thought it was totally consumed. Small blue pearl. It is slightly cold to the touch. Keep going. <laughs> this pearl is cold to the touch and is permanently covered in a layer of permafrost. You crack the fragment as you activate it, unleashing the planar energy within. If this energy casts a spell of your choice, a 5th rank elemental form spell affecting you, or a 5th rank summon elemental. If you summon an elemental, you can sustain the activation to keep control of the elemental. The spell's element is that of water. Great! Aw, oh, cool, you can turn into a little water boy. Hmm. Technically, these are 5th rank spells, so would yes. normally be outside of the range for your costing, but... Correct. I, I think would... for consumables, it doesn't matter what rank of spell oh, it you can cast. It's yeah. just technically speaking a level 10 item, but I thought, you know what, as a cool little, like, consumable item... But yeah, uh, you get the feeling that this was kind of because of all the elementals in the water. What remained of them kind of coalesced around it, or the elemental energies coalesced back into it. So not as powerful as it was. But, you know, 
a little bit diminished. But still useful for your purposes. A pearl is a pearl. Uh, also, you get the feeling that this is probably something that she used to uh, summon the title master. And if you wanted, you could use this to upgrade a staff that has water type spells in it. Ooh, question, Matt. Potential answer. Sniffing around the title master summon place, does it look very similar to the other summon place? Or does it look like these some elementals were summoned by two unconnected groups? Uh, you get the feeling that it's the same group. Okay. But it's a consumable... Not the same lady. Well, a consumable was used for the title master. Okay. So, putting two and two together, uh, summoning a title master would usually be outside of her abilities. Okay. I can beat her. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I can, can take her. Juice that she is of ninth level or lower. I can take her. <laughs> Absolutely. You were taking the dragon. However. <laughs> Oh, I'll probably refund you that cauliflower. We're about to end. Achi's super not gonna need it. <laughs> but I hope not. <laughs> I mean, I could just randomly cast a spell on you if you like. You have, you know what? I don't want to push my luck. I've pushed it quite a fair bit already today. <laughs> um, yeah. All that said, morning will eventually break. As we transition back to sunlight, you can all kind of sleep and rest and do the, all that other fun stuff. Hooray! Oh. I mean, just... And yes, you can just replenish to full hit points. You have a solar in your group. I'm not worried about it. What, you don't like the minutia of rolling a bunch of different rolls, Matt? For some things, I get it. And for some <laughs> styles of game, I also get it. But there are things like, yeah, no. Eight silver pieces of Fortnite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Taxes. <laughs> Who, whoever would make their players pay eight silver pieces for a 14 day downtime period is highway robbing their players. Now, yeah, you venture captains. To be fair. Oh, sorry, venture capitalists. Uh, it does mean that certain feats and abilities have more of a use. Oh, I'm I'm just riffing. Oh no, I, so am I. Just... I completely understand why it's being done. But if you want to know what we're talking about, uh, we're talking about the podge on the hijinks server. Which is actually a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. I don't have a direct link for the hijinks server. Because... But... If you are interested in playing in... Because we're closing up the session. But if you are interested in participating in some Pathfinder games, uh, I am going to be running some private games through the Pathfinder Society thing that's run outside of the hijink server so if you follow that link to their youtube i'm pretty sure you can find a discord link of their youtube videos because they're an actual but play Juliet stream for pathfinder 2 what's up juliet sometimes does games and that Ju also involves a dragon yes oh yeah i i, I like dragons i think Hashtag once juliet is done juliet with make um... a sequel so i can play my orc again <laughs> i think once juliet's finished with uh, exams and stuff uh, she'll be running games again Hooray! Uh, Jules also runs games, um, and I run games as well. I'm actually probably going to be running a game this Tuesday, I think. Or Monday. Tuesday. They run all the text. But that's mostly because we're playtesting a archetype, and one of the players is playtesting for me. It's going to be great. Anyway, with our pirates having been attacked in the night by what appears to be elementals summoned by the sunken coven, it appears that they are being followed and watched. And whoever... I don't know why the Sunken Coven is upset with us. We haven't even done anything to them. You're interrupting their plans. 
What their plans? Maybe we're trying to speed along their plans. They don't know. They haven't talked to us. This is true. I'm not going to say only that. The <laughs> only Summon interactions zombies we've had. at us. Shot lightning bolts at us. Yeah. They've Didn't really just been mean to, to us. <laughs> Why would they stop being mean at you? But if you want to find out what happens next time, you'll have to join us at 5.30 Australian Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be continuing Hoist the Colors for Pathfinder's 2nd Edition presented by Tabletop Obscura. Uh, Pathfinder 2 is by Paizo Publishing, powered by Foundry VTT, with music by Michael Gelfi. The VOD for this will be up at some point during the week. I have to wait at least 48 hours for Twitch type stuff. Otherwise, we're probably going to raid the Dwarf down under, because I'm just going to throw it out there and assume he's doing his Warframe stuff. Correct. And I'm also Open hoping... Relics. I'm also hoping he has his drops enabled for no reason in particular. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to raid the Dwarf down under. Otherwise, uh, I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good week, no matter where you are in the world. And remember, as always, we are the Storytellers. Good night, everyone. No, nothing from players? Okay, then I see how it is. I said goodnight. I just said it in a really high pitch, and I'm not sure my mic picked it up. I don't think it might did anyway. Anyway, we'll see you on 